Hello and welcome back to Scatterbrook Farm Garden Designs. Hope you're all well and all busy decorating. Okay, you've all seen um, <clears throat> there's a, a new update coming. And in this update, um, lots and lots of things are happening and it's all good fun. Clearing land and lots and lots going on. Um, but what has taken my attention is the rail track. Um, so you can have a railway line going through your farm. Now, there is a bit of a problem with this. Um, because you can't just have a railway line sort of starting halfway in the, mid in the middle of your farm and going along about 20 pieces. You know, it, it, it's got to come from somewhere. The train's got to come from somewhere. And I looked at it and I thought, well, you can't go left to right because obviously there's a river in the way, so the train can't get over the river. So that's a stop there. And obviously from this side here, there's all the trees in the way. So it can't go this way. Then this way here, coming down the farm, Obviously, you've got a big cliff face. So there's no way at all that the train can come through any of this. And then, even if you did have a way that you could uh, have the truck coming down this way, then you've got the road to overcome. So the train can't go over the road. So unless you just have a, a length of track in the middle of the farm, which would be well, it'd be pretty pointless because there's nothing can travel on there. So I've been thinking and thinking and thinking what to do. And I've come up with a, a really, really cool design for the railway line. Um, I hope you guys like this. It's taken a little bit of time to do it, to, to work it out. Um, but what I've done is I've, on my... Um, designing farm scatterbrook 2 i've actually got the rail line coming from these cliffs down now i've just said that it's almost impossible to get it to to come from there and down but i'm trying to get the effect that the actual rail line is going to be working the train's going to be coming through here through a tunnel under a footbridge down across the farm and then across the road and I'm, I'm going to make a, a, a rail crossing a road crossing for the train to cross then the train can go across and down and then in through the trees and out that way so I bet you're dying to see this aren't you right here we go then so we're going to go to where I've just designed it okay so as you can see I put a footpath from the farmhouse it goes up along okay then you go up some steps you go up the steps and then you go over the rail bridge okay so the slabs in the middle running down that will be the rail track. I've, obviously, we haven't got the rail track at the moment. Um, and then you've got the gravel, the stones, either side of the rail. Um, and as you can see, I've got the I've got it both sides. So you can go in any, any direction. So you can cross over the railway line. Because obviously, if you've got the railway line running down through the middle of your farm, you're not going to walk straight across the railway line. You need a way to, to get over it. So I've designed a railway bridge with a walk over and then you've got steps either side to get down off the bridge and then on on your way to the farm now this area here the bow bower tree is a very very tall tree now i haven't got them on this farm 
but when you put those at the back they will cover all of that rock area they will cover all of that cliff okay so when you've got a great big clump of trees covering that then you have the effect that the train is coming underground out through a tunnel and then on its way okay so it's the same sort of effect as the scatter bridge that i do um but you're incorporated um the wooden toilets there to, to make the bridge effect so you've got that lovely wooden bridge that the train goes under now it's placed in such a way that it looks as though that the train you know can go right under the bridge and if you're clever enough you can continue the, the track if you zoom in there look you see you can see it coming out the other side of the footbridge and then it goes under there and obviously with more height there it'll go into the tunnel and on its way so that's the design that i've come up with for the the railway and that is the only way that you can get the train looking as though it, it goes all the way through your farm now obviously it would come down here and then you come to the road so what you do is you put tall trees where that creamery is tall enough to cover the road okay so you would you would cover you know a, a good area of road leaving a gap and then you would use more wood to make you know the wooden flat boards to make a level crossing so you'd have those either side okay and then the rail track would stop right right on the edge of the road here okay and then you can continue your track all the way down right the way through and then more trees in this area here <laughs> to cover the track that goes into here okay so you'd sort of pick a, a, a little gap in the trees there <laughs> so that's where the where the track would actually disappear into so it looks as though the trains on its travels through the woodland um other than that there's, there's just no way that you can you know you can't come this way because there's water and it, it just stops and it'll come to a dead end so the only way that you can make that rail track live is to do a, a design like i've done there which which you know obviously when you've got the height of the trees at the back it looks as though it's going under a tunnel and then obviously you there's no way you can get over that railway line if you've got it running through the middle of your farm so you need you need access to get over the over the railway line so that's why i built this this bridge and then you've got the, the gravel path along the top and the path coming in either side so you can climb up walk up the steps and stand on the bridge and watch a train go under so there you have it that's a, another design by scatterbook farm it took me a little bit of a time to sort of wonder what to do and how to how to go about it uh, let me know what you think in the comments i know um heyday when they done the uh the dairy news i know they said you know see what designs you can come up with for the for the uh, railway line uh, so it's a bit of a bit of a challenge but uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comments pass this on with all your friends definitely pass this on because we've all got you know we're all going to get the rail track and i think this is an absolute awesome design um to incorporate the a railway line going through your farm um so i you know i'll be doing it uh, i'm going to do this this up that this same design but i'm going to do it on the end here when this is cleared here it'll be exactly the same i mean i can't go far enough this way but it'll be running down the outside of the farm and the same effect all the way across all the way across and then down through the farm um so yeah 
that's the only way that you can actually get it. I mean, it's no good putting, you know, a railway line all the way through here, all the way through here, all the way through here, and then it can't, it can't go any further. It stops because otherwise it goes in the water. So the only way that you can do it, like I said, is from the cliff side through a tunnel and out under the bridge. And uh, if you get it all right and place it okay, you know, you can build this up around the house and some more fencing and some trees and some machines or whatever. But, you know, when you look at that, it looks quite, uh, quite effective. So uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe, pass the video on with all your friends. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be doing another video. Um, Cat Cool wants me to do... Uh, she wants me to do a uh, a beach design on the farm, um, incorporating the beach hut. She's got the beach hut, and uh, she wants to know if I can do a beach design on the farm. Now, that's going to be a little bit difficult, because obviously, for a beach, you need sand. And the only thing you can use nearest to the sand is, is the, uh, the, mud, the muddy footpath. <clears throat> and you've got to link loads of those up together. But then you've got tufts in the middle. So uh, it's a little bit of a challenge, but we'll have a go at it. I'll see what I can do for you, Kat. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But anyway, there's the Scatterbrook, uh, I was going to call it the Scatterbrook Railway Bridge. Eh? Well, I suppose it is. I've done it. I made it. Um, so there it is. So I hope you enjoyed it. It is a short video, but I just wanted to share with you guys um, one idea that you can uh, do when you get the railway line. So until the next video, happy designing, take care, and we'll see you very soon. Cheerio.